All right. In this little video, we're going to talk about how you can integrate Zapier and Active Campaign together. So if you're not familiar with Zapier, you should be. It's awesome. It allows you to push information in and out of a bunch of different systems, and you can even create multi-step workflows so that, uh, for example, you gather a form uh, in one place, and that might push that information into three other systems that you use. So super, super useful, super helpful uh, in getting disparate systems to talk to each other. So we're going to look at how we can get Zapier and Active Campaign talking to each other. So here you have a Zapier account, and you can get a free plan uh, if you like, or paid plans. Even if you are on a paid plan, it's more than worth it in uh, time saving and automation value. But here inside our Zapier account, what we need to do is go up to this little account icon here and go to Connected Accounts. And you'll see I've got a, a number of connections already set up in here. Slack, Google Calendar, Wufoo Forms, Xero, Moon Clerk, Google Drive, Acuity Scheduling, etc. So we want to create a new account. So let's look up Active Campaign. There it is. So that will pop up this dialog box here asking you for your Active Campaign API information. And if you remember, the API information is just uh, two sets of uh, inf strings of code that will allow one system to talk to another. So it will allow Active Campaign to talk behind the scenes to Zapier. So let's jump in. I'll show you where to find those in Active Campaign. Pop into your Active Campaign account. Come up here to my settings. And under developer, you'll find your API URL and your API key. And again, I've got those grayed out because uh, you need to treat those securely because anybody that has those can start pushing stuff into Active Campaign. So you don't want to you want to give those out to people. But you just copy uh, the item in that first box. into into the first box here item in the second box goes in the second box continue the zapier and it's come up with the connection there and you can test it Boom, successful, right? And you can dis disconnect it and reconnect it if you want. Now you can have multiple active campaign accounts. So if you have more than, if you're running more than one active campaign account for some reason, like doing this as a consultant or something, you can just give these different names. So, so this is the connection for the AC Quick Start course and just hit enter. So that's the connection for that active campaign account. That's the connection for my personal active campaign account. So that's how you set up Active Campaign to talk to Zapier. And in the Zapier training, we'll talk about some other common zaps that you can use to make your life a little bit easier. And as you can see, you can uh, do the same thing with those API keys to a number of different systems to get everything talking to everything. So that's connecting to Zapier.